So good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight for this uh, topic, for this call. Choice and change. So if you have any question on your site, please uh, ask the translator or type in to the chat box. And, and then the translator can help us to read it up or translate. All right. So what is ch choice and change? We never heard about it, right? <laughs> yeah. So everywhere we think that um, change is something wrong or change can show up way in ways that doesn't work for us. So you destroy and uncreate all that. Right, right and wrong, good and bad, and bad, 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 and beyond. Um, so there are a lot of points of view about what is uh, change, actually. But the thing is, um, I think there is uh, somehow we um, mix up things in this topic about change. You know, uh, when, when you start to function from order or regarding a topic, you are functioning from the space of order, what happens you start to limit what you already have. You start to create a limitation in that area of your life, and that is not change, but it's rather about bastardizing the possibilities. So you create less and less and less. So you start to limit your own life and your own capacities when you function from uh, order. So you just create more and more and more uh, limitations and more points of view, and that will limit your whole creation. So change is when you start to expand out, when you function from possibilities, when you function from question. So change is everything that comes from that space, and it creates something greater in your life. So when someone says in excess that, um, are you choosing the change that is possible? <laughs> This is what it means. Are you choosing something greater in that area of your life? It's never about um, choosing something that will create less or that will be worse for you. So everything that doesn't allow you to have total ease with change, with receiving the change that is possible, will you destroy and create all that? Right, right and wrong, good and bad, good and poco, and ensures voice and beyonds. And um, the other area, choice. So what, what, uh, yeah, so when we choose something, how many times do we choose from, like, like a, like from a recipe book, thinking that, okay, these are the possibilities, like in the past I did this and this and this, Therefore, I created these possibilities or examples and I can choose from, from this list. Or people tell you that life is this, this much, like because you come from here, you live in that region, you you born into that family, this is your um, social environment, this is your body, this is how things are. So they give you a limited point of view about your possibilities, about who are you and what you can choose. And you start to choose from these limitations. So it's not really choice. <laughs> Actually, choice is when you, when you choose anything. So you can choose anything and i'm pretty sure you heard it like a million times but what if you really can choose anything so people are, are afraid of choosing things that are uh, unknown or or like choosing something where they don't know how to create it how to do it like oh first you have to know before you choose it like first you have to know how to do it and how to get there before you would choose it to get there but actually it doesn't work that way. 
it works the opposite way. First, you really have to choose, and after the how will show up for you. Because there is no <laughs> way to there. The way to go to somewhere, like the way to generate something or actualize something, will only show up for you after you choose it. It doesn't show up before. Or what you have before, it's a point of view about what you have done in the past or what someone did in the past, like how someone else, your friend or your parents, created the same thing. But for you, it's not the same path. And it will only show up when you uh, choose it. So everywhere where you are afraid of choosing, just because you don't know how to get there, everywhere where you decided first you have to learn how to get there, <laughs> first you have to go to school or learn from others how you can get there, what is the way to there, and every, everywhere where it holds you back from creating the life you desire, everywhere it holds you back from choosing what you desire, will you destroy and uncreate all that? Right, right and wrong, good and bad, good and poor, and ensure it's worse and beyond. So what would your life be like if you could truly choose anything? What would your financial reality be like if you could truly choose anything? Okay, so what is the financial reality that would work for you? And are you willing to choose that? Even if you don't know how to get there, even if you say, I've never done that, even if you say, there is no such thing as an example of that anywhere in the world, it's never existed, no one ever did, or I tried it many times, but I failed. And a lot of my friends, even people who are greater than me, they tried it and they all failed. Everything that brings up, we destroy and uncreate and return back to the sender. Right, right and wrong, good and bad, put and poco, and I share voice and beyond. So what would your life be like if you would choose everything that creates greater for you? If you would choose, instead of maintaining the shit, or instead of functioning from other people's points of view, or functioning from the limitations of others, what would it create for your financial reality? What would it create for your body? What would your body be like if you were always functioning from what creates greater for the body? So everywhere you bought into the points of view of others about uh, diet, about exercises, about food that is not healthy for the body and food that is healthy for the body. Therefore, you have to follow this diet. You have to do this exercise. Every time when you eat a piece of chocolate, you have to swim 35 uh, or, <laughs> or, or 500 meters, or whatever is that. Everywhere you bought into other people's points of view and you follow that. You destroy and uncreate. Right, right and wrong, good and bad, good and poor, all nine shorts, worse and beyond. So the thing is, um, just look around in the world, just check the areas of your life, let's say your body, your health, your relationship, your money situation. Which are the things that you would like to change? So it's, it's not about that, okay, I try to fix my money situation. What if you don't have to fix, but choose something else? So everywhere you bought into that, oh, it, it's quite good. What I have, I, I, it would be so much energy to totally change it. So I'd rather just fix a tiny part that doesn't work <laughs> and then it will, it will work better. And then I will fix it always step by step. What if you can change the whole thing right now? What if the what? basis of this creation is not working, what you have now? What else is possible? And what if you can choose something else instead of fixing things? 
you can choose really anything. So when you created that situation, let's say that money situation that you have now, how much of that was based on other people's points of view? So you try to fix it when it's other people's points of view. What would it take to simply just create? So choose something that works for you, that you are aware of. That's, are you choosing to have the total ease and clarity with knowing what's required, what would create more for you? There is a question. When we ask a question, are we making a new choice? <clears throat> so the beauty of asking a question, and if that's uh, not a yes, no type question, but let's say um, you tap into the energy of your body, you sense there is something going on that not the best for you. All right. What else is possible for my body? So when you ask an open question, what happens, you start to open up the space of a greater possibility. So it's still not choosing something, but it allows you to see the greater possibilities. The universe starts to show you the greater possibilities. I mean, it's, it's not just the words, but part of it is, what is the space that you are functioning from when you ask the question? So you ask the question and you also have the desire to, to have something greater. And if you have that desire, that's already sort of like a choice. You express your choice, knowing that this is not the greatest what I have. I know something greater is possible. Universe, show me what else is possible with my body because I'm really choosing something greater. So what else is possible here? And still, when you make the choice, then you don't have to know how to get there because the universe will show you how to get there. It will give you the information step by step. Go here, do that, listen to this thing, sign up there, um, find this or meet these people. The universe will always tell you what to be done to get there. And you just need to ask the question, okay, is it part of my choice? Like, if I choose this, will it contribute to my choice? For these people who came into my life, for these possibilities that someone just told me, is it a contribution to my choice? Yeah, thank you for the question. So, really, if you... And yeah, this is following the energy. Following the energy of your choice is being in question of what's required for this to show up with total ease. U universe, show me what's required for this to show up with total ease in my life. What's required for this to show up this year with total ease. And really, you have the awareness, you have the knowing of what else is possible. Are you willing to follow your awareness? Hmm. So, are you willing to have ease in your life? Instead of fixing everything that was created based on the points of view of others. Or the reference points from the past. Like I tried it this way in the past, I just change one, one tiny part of it and try it again. And I will always just change one tiny part of it and try it again and see, you know, because of the rule of the big numbers, sooner or later, I will have some <laughs> good outcome. But what if there is an easier way? Okay. If you have a question, please um, just let us know. So, if there is um, a different possibility, what would you choose? And there is always something greater. Are you willing to look for the greater? Are you willing to receive?
everything that creates greater for you. So what can you choose that goes beyond all the possibilities? And really, what can you choose? And are you choosing to go beyond this reality? So not just simply maintaining what we already have, but what if it always can be greater and better? And there is nothing wrong to have something greater than what you had yesterday. It's not like selfish, it's not wrong, it's, it's not stupid that if you choose or if you desire to, to improve your life, if you desire to expand, because the nature of the infinite being is, is the continuous expansion. And when you have the sense that something greater possible here, and when you start to choose it, and create it and actualize it, you actually, there's the willingness to, to function from the space of the infinite being. It's the willingness to follow your nature, the nature of expansion. And the expansion is a multidimensional thing. It's not linear. It's not just, okay, today I have $100, tomorrow I want to have with all the same things, like doing everything the same, I want to have 150. But what if there is a possibility to create something greater and while you are creating it, it, it starts to like fertilize everything around you. It, it starts to contribute to the whole world around you. So when you choose something greater, it invites the whole universe to choose greater, to show greater possibilities. <laughs> Somebody really wants to be here with us. <laughs> <clears throat> so what yeah. can you choose? Are you choosing to go beyond all of this reality? Are you really choosing to receive the possibilities that is beyond this reality you are the one who creates greater you are the one who invites others to create greater through you create greater so it's not we, we cannot change the world we cannot change how things go on if we don't choose it and it's not selfish if you choose for you there's nothing wrong with that if you choose for you. Because when you choose for you, your life gets better. And the people around you start to have a greater life. And they see that you have a greater life and they start to ask questions. Oh, what, that, what does this person do? I'm interested. I'm choosing a greater life. I like what this person has. I like the relationship. I like the money they have. I like their freedom. I'm choosing more. Yeah. What if you can be the catalysator and the invitation for others and show them, yeah, this is possible and even more is possible as well. Because we didn't learn in the school. They didn't taught us, you know, how to choose greater, how to choose for yourself. But you can show others, yes, it's possible. Yeah, you can create your life. And really... You don't have to study many years. You don't have to meditate for many years about how you create a greater life or how you create the life you desire. You don't have to go into a cave and separate yourself from the whole world. Meditate for 30 years and be in the space. But if you can be in the space right now, here as well, you don't have to separate yourself. Are you willing to receive everything with no points of view? Are you willing to receive all the information and all the energies? What would your life be like if you had no points of view about anything? So when you ask for something, a lot of things will show up. It doesn't mean that all the things that show up 
are for you, are for are that all the things will create something greater. So are you willing to ask the question anytime when something shows up, okay, is this a contribution to my choice? Or is this a contribution to my life? Yeah, um, yeah there is a question from Slovenia. Uh, Helena, I think. Yeah. Can you help us, Goga, or uh, like unmute yourself and, uh, and then we can hear the English. Shall we unmute you to ask the question, Goga? Yeah, cool. I, I asked her if she can write the question in the chat. Yes. Uh, so let's see if she knows where it is. <laughs> okay. uh, otherwise, we can unmute her. Her name is Helena. Okay. And we can say it and then I'll translate. Okay. Maybe that's quicker. Yeah. Which, which Helena? Because there are two Helenas. Are there? Yeah, here are two Helena. <laughs> Just Helena, I think. Helena, pritisni na zvočnik, na tist gumbek na levi strani, da se od, da lang govoriš. It's probably the Helena without um, okay. her surname. Cool. So I just unmuted her if she would like to ask the question. If not, all right, it's, it's not, not me. her. Okay. okay, okay, so we just keep following. Yeah, and if she has a question or if she typed it, yeah, we can. Thank you. Uh, she... Hi, Tila. Uh, yes, sir. we actually have question in Czech chat, or shall I wait for somebody else's question? Yeah, no. just just go ahead. Yeah, uh, there is question from one uh, woman. Uh, she has this question that she doesn't have any ideas. Like for for many years, she she is like without ideas. Um, How she can change it? She. She has you a, mean she doesn't want anything? She doesn't desire anything in her life? It's meant more like there are not any ideas like coming to her. Um, but when, when she's talking about saying idea, does it mean that she doesn't desire to have anything like like a, a better relationship or she doesn't desire a better job or more money or better health okay i will translate it thank you because yeah like um so what do you desire in your life If you could truly have anything in your life, what would it be? Not just like, oh, I'm like, this is my profession. This is my monthly salary. Therefore, this is what I can have. No. What if you could have anything? Because when you choose it, and then you're not function from the reference points of and this the reality. And the conclusions. So when you choose what you desire, that starts to show up. Like you don't have to know how, you don't have to have the money for that, you don't have to have the knowledge for that, you just need to choose it. And of course, follow the energy, which means when you choose, the universe starts to give you information about, give you signs of what needs to be done. That you should meet with someone, you should go to somewhere, and so on. If you don't do it, of course, it will not show up. So it's not just asking, but you need to do the actions that's required.
Hello. Yes. Hello. Hello. Helena here. Ah, Hi, hello. Helena. Finally. <laughs> Finally, yes. <laughs> One question. I want question, okay. but I speak Slovenish, okay? Okay. Okay. Goga, can yeah, you yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, of course. Goga, do you hear me? te, vidim te vse. <laughs> e, super. E, zanima me, bila sem v službi in v službi jaz več ne morem biti, ker me duši. Ker je okay. pa to edini prihodek uh, trenutno. Čakaj, počakaj, uh, stavek po stavek boš govorila, zato, ker da bom lahko preveč. Aha, v redu. Uh, v redu. So, so she would like to know one thing. She uh, is unsatisfied in her job and continue, nadaljuj. Aha. In kako naj točno zaznam, da je pa ta, ta trenutek, če pustim, da je ok? Uh, so she would like to know when uh, is the time to quit the job. So when to know exactly okay. when, when, what's time to quit. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so, so here are a few um, tools. <laughs> I hope Helena is also on that language line so she can hear the translation. So if you are not happy with the job, the first question is, uh, what's the amount of money that if you would earn with that job that would make you so happy and excited every morning to go to work? It can be a job, it can be your business, anything what is the amount of money that if you would earn that much you would do that thing happily so what it does it helps you to see whether you like your job what you are doing or no like if if there if you don't like it it's just because okay i'm not going to do this no matter how much they pay it's shit anyway. I, I just hate what I'm doing. So that, that, that helps you to realize that it's just you are underpaid. Or, like, I mean, so it's either you are underpaid, so you, you love the job and you would, you would be happy to do it, or you really hate what you are doing, so you have to do something else. And also, um, because, you know, sometimes we just start to hate what we are doing, but it's because the boss is an asshole or our colleagues are an asshole or we just fed up with something. Like day after day, we have more and more problems. It's we just really have the awareness we don't want to do this anymore. So what's true for you? And it's not about when is the time to, to leave the job, but it's asking the question, tapping is, into the energy of this job, what you are doing, or that workplace and the job, everything of that. And is it a contribution to my life? At all, yeah. this job. Or is it a contribution if I stay or if at I this stay. workplace? Or is it a, con and there are many, many options. So is it a contribution to, to choose something else? Or is it a contribution to, to quit right now or later? Or is it a contribution to, to have just a half-time job? Or, you know, if it's not a contribution, you can still ask a lot of questions, really, a lot and a lot and a lot of questions. Like you can ask the question of, um, or you can, I mean, actually you can ask the universe to show you the job that would be a contribution to you. So universe, show me what would be a contribution to me. What is the job that would be a contribution to me? Like, um, sorry. Or also, if you have the amount of money, how much would you like to have every hmm. month? You can just ask, okay, what would it take to have this money? With what, total ease. With total ease. What can I do? What can I be? And when you have this amount, it's not about that 
um, based on your profession or based on your education, based on your age. It's, it's not about that. So if you forget about all these reference points of this reality, what is the amount of money that if you would have on a monthly or a weekly basis that would make you happy and excited about your life? So what is the amount of money, no matter what, like don't worry about it that even the prime minister doesn't earn that much or the top manager at the company doesn't earn that much, what is the amount of money that would make you feel super excited? That would make your whole body like be like this. <gasps> That's, I really want to do what I'm doing because it's so exciting for my <laughs> whole body, my whole being. Everything in me is so excited to do this. To do what you do, what you would like to do. So what would you like to do and how much is the money that you would like to earn on a monthly basis? And what would it take to have a job, to have a work that is super fun for you? Okay, so there is, I think it's a related question, I say. Yeah. Hi, I know for sure that I don't like to work for others. And I always wanted my own business, but every time I'm choosing something to build for myself, I always find the big wall in front of me that I need money to do a business. How can I rise above that point of view? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So, um, <laughs> when you choose something, um, all the things that are holding you back will come to the surface. All the fears, all the limitations, all the points of view, all the programs, everything will come to the surface. And this is one of the things that are holding you back that is coming to the surface. It doesn't mean that it's something that is real, that is really holding you back. It is a point of view you bought into that doesn't allow you to create the life you desire. So, so it's not something real that's holding you back, it's something as a point of view holding you back that limits your capacities. So it's really great because it's, it's coming up to the surface, so it's easy to clear now. So when you choose something to get somewhere or to have something, and the, the something is coming up. The points of view, points the of fears, view, fear, the doubt. Anything, yeah, I, I need money to uh, have business. You just clear it. Because it's finally on the surface, easy to clear that. And after you can make another step in order to have your whatever you desire. So it can be the money or it can be that I don't have the titles, the degrees yet. Or I don't have a place for my business. Or I don't have the people who, who would work for me. Or you don't have customers yet. So there are so many limitations or points of view that are stopping people from creating their life or creating their business. So what if you start to clear all of these limitations and start to ask questions? Okay. So each and every time when a limitation comes up regarding your creation, okay, everything that brings up, now I destroy and uncreate all that and just keep clearing until it disappears. And anytime it comes up, for them, for clear all of that. And after you can ask the questions, oh, okay, so what can I be and what can I do today to create that things, really, what I desire with total, with ease. total ease? And the possibilities will show up, or, or the possibility, or the people who are contribution or who are willing to contribute you or who are willing to work or co-create with you, hmm. or, or the situations, everything um, will show up. Just an example, like what we did, we, we didn't use the tools of access for many years. Yeah. And we, we had a full-time job. And also we had a business that was like total failure for three years. Like every year we lost like $25,000. So, and once when we started to ask questions, possibilities started to show up. And also, of course, we started to do the energy pool 
And after like three days, we started to see that something is changing. Something's starting to get better. It was easier. Everything was easier. Like generally in our life, things started to become easier. And then after seven days of doing energy pool every day once at least, we started to see that, hey, it's working. It's not just by mistake. It's not just a lucky day but it's it's working constantly things getting better and improving and it's a dynamic improvement so we started to do energy pools for ourselves and creating our own energy pools and to started to use the access tools uh, as well all the questions, questions everything it's the, the greatest tool in access is asking a question you don't have to know anything really because you already know everything you just the, need to ask the question because the question is a tool through which you can have access to what you already know or what already exists what's out there in the universe with questions you can have access to all the information and energies yeah so anytime when there is a big wall that comes up in other words we call it when the shit hits the fan a bit <laughs> more visual <laughs> so it's like people choose something and then the shit hits the fan so things starts to happen to them that makes them feel oh uncomfortable this is not for me or they say it's not meant to be like maybe it's not the right time no it's the right time but all the limitations are showing up now because of your asking finally they are visible yeah, so it's easy to clear that. So be grateful for that because it's part of your choice and your creation. So it's easy to clear. And actually money and business is just a tool to get there where you would like to get. So, it's, so having the business is maybe not what you desire, but the lifestyle is the one that you desire. What lifestyle would you like? What life would you like to create for yourself? And, and when you have that clearly, like when you have the energy of that lifestyle, like how would you feel on a daily basis, then what starts to show up, the, the possibilities to get there. So the business will show up, the money will show up, the people who are contributing to you will show up of how to get there and might it can be a totally different business you 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 know you you think because that's not a contribution it's totally yeah. different and maybe it's not one business not one source of uh, income that will show up but many many sources of income and sometimes it doesn't require a lot of planning it's just something quick and easy so it can be that um, let's say 95% of the money required for your life, for, your, for what you desire, will be totally else, will be something that you have never done, something new. So everywhere where you expect and you have a conclusion, how will you have the money for the life you desire, will you destroy and uncreate all that? Right, right and wrong, good and bad, good and poor, and and short, boys and beyonds. So, right. so we are going to do an energy pool series in February. Yes. And also um, we have something called the 100% committed. It's like a, it's, it's a specialty class, which is about how you create the life you desire, how you choose, how you follow the energy. Mm -hmm. so, so we are sharing all these tools because what happened that you know, we, we, we are totally general, everyday people and we had a life with full-time job and the life didn't really work. And then one day we were choosing something to have an amazing life and everything just collapsed. <laughs> and then we started to use the tools of access and within two months, we, like, like I lost my job immediately when, when we were choosing something greater. <laughs> And then within two months, we built up the business. We reached that amount of money that I was earning before at my full-time job. 
and you and know it was a really well paid job actually yeah, like, yeah. like six digit in dollar yearly income so the thing is um with the tools of access everyone can do it it's not just us but we see that we did it and and we collected all the tools that we were using and um and we would like to share it with the people so this is the 100 percent committed call or as a specialty class where we can share all the information about how you create the life you desire what does it mean being committed to your life and living how you generate the business how you communicate with your business what is following the energy what does it mean asking a question how do you ask a question how do you follow the energy and everything that doesn't allow you to have totalities in your life will you destroy and uncreate all that right, right and, and wrong, wrong good and bad good and poor all and shorts voice and beyonds so what would it take to have total ease and fun all the day, all, all day and night, all the time, no matter what, no matter what is your past? Are you willing to have total ease? Are you choosing it? Yeah. What, what do you choose? Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us for today, tonight. Thank you, everyone, uh, all the translators. We are so, so, so grateful. Yeah, thank yeah. you for making this possible. Yes, thank and you. Helping and, people and being to reach available. This information. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful night. And Hope we will, to see you soon. Yeah, we will send out the recording. And for check, we will have a quick Facebook Live soon. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. See, see you. you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Ciao, 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 ciao